Stumbled at the start line I've done all that I can do But I'll try again I'll Well, I think right here is the cheapest What's up, what's up, guys? Let me see my camera is dirty. There we go. Much better. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, what's up? I'm over here at the yard. I gotta go return that load that I loaded on Friday. Kentucky bluegrass. Over here, just organizing my, uh, my, uh, what is it called? bolt screw washer collection after working on my belt trailer and had to run to Home Depot millions of times I decided to start this little collection going so I just recently got these bigger washers yeah I need a lot more bolts and stuff but yeah just trying to keep it Organize as possible and I'm already ran out of ran out of room pretty much but it's nice to have it on you you know because you spend more time trying to dig through bolts and washers and screws but here it's right here I hope these are gonna be fine for the chassis yeah so I started this little collection and uh, it's been paying off to tell you the truth but I obviously outgrew it. This is my air fitting collection. A couple of light bulbs. Saves a trip, that's all I gotta say. And these are kind of pointless because they're small. I got a whole new collection of these. But yeah. Oh yeah, and I still gotta find the for that drop axle I stuff to do the I guess it's nice to have it with you. So one day, I don't know, I like to be prepared for anything, so. There's a half inch. So it's all right, let's see where is it. Yeah, half inch. So yeah. Yeah, and that's. I'm sitting here warming up the truck, so <clears throat> just reorganized it a little bit. Of course, I'm doing a plug for my Milwaukee new set. I'll save it for later. Take out the trash. Peace, guys. Good in the man. Monday morning uh, Yeah, we out here again. I returned my load when I loaded on Friday and uh, I Got a pre pool uh, empty for One of the drivers cuz I'm taking a day off tomorrow So I got a This guy's sneaking in over here Guys love sneaking it around here. I think that five axle chassis. Yeah, so we're gonna pick up an empty. Take it back to the yard and uh, go home. Easy Monday morning. See ya, watch yourself here. See you. Anything, anyone, any trucks, trailers, you name it. I got location uh, P21, so it's somewhere around this bend. I think this is P. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Yep. Cause it kind of goes in order. This is last one's like row is 
guys your discretion is advised getting them cow hides today with a big axle trailer lots of axle trailer got my truck washed out yesterday that only lasted about a couple minutes but cleaner than it was. At least the wheels are shining. That's the new wheels. Looks good on the Volvo. <laughs> Give it a little bit of bling. What's up, guys? Well, it's already a Wednesday morning to you. Going to our favorite place, Cowhides. I got my snow on the road, so I got my strobe lights on. Not strobe lights, uh, spotlights. I don't know what you call them. See the big difference about them? I got them set up so I can see the shoulders really well. I go to like Montana. Here's the hell.
little bit of movement on the channel. I post a video once a week. I used to do two videos. And uh, just moved down to uh, one video. I usually do one like on Sunday. Between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever I have time. So, yeah. Well, I'm uh, on my way back to Seattle. I got other good news. But yesterday I was able to rerun out of Ferndale, Washington to Seattle, Washington. I was able to load three loads. And uh, I guess that's never been done before at this place. And they've been around for like 60 years. The cow hides. So, the guy there, that he's been there since like 1967. He's like, we had one guy talk about doing three loads. And that day he only loaded one. <clears throat> so, I was able to load three yesterday. And again, the only reason that even happened was because the traffic was really smooth into Seattle. You save an hour, I saved like an hour right there. And then uh, the terminal was just amazing. I was in and out like 25, 30 minutes, uh, dropping the load, picking up an empty. So, yeah. So now I gotta return this third one and I'm going to try to do load two loads today to be on top of it. If I don't load two loads today, yesterday would be all for nothing. Because I can do two loads a day easily, so. I don't, I don't know if you guys see the math. My math. <laughs> but yeah. Well, catch you guys on the other side. What's up, what's up guys? Why am I making a video about this chassis, port container, intermodal chassis? Well, I think right here is the cheapest, for 2021, cheapest intermodal brand new chassis. So, we got it picked up from Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, the driver picked up a container in uh, in Boise or Nampa or something like that and brought it back to Washington so that was the first container on this thing yeah but it's a brand new brand new brand new chassis and if anybody knows you cannot get a chassis right now we didn't sit and wait for this one for eight, nine months. We, about a month ago, we found it and bought it. Now it's here. So, comment below what you think we paid for this thing. But, I don't know, can you consider this a brand new one since this is broken? I don't know, maybe it's a salvage title. But, yeah. Look at this. Wow, I've never seen this before. That ain't new, guys. I don't even know they come up with this. I don't know what else. What is? So yeah, comment below. And you guys know the shortage of chassis, intermodal chassis right now. If you wanted to order this one in particular, they would tell you either we're not taking orders or delivery date, um, July 2022 so yeah brand new cheapest the C C I M C brand so let me know comment below how much you think we pay for this and maybe one of the videos I'll reveal the price for a brand new chassis. Let me know. Peace.